Thanks so much. Well, this morning, we want to get right to that federal lawsuit that we've been telling you about, a civil rights lawsuit involving Rock Rock Public Schools and the city. We are still waiting this morning for that official response from the district. Yeah, the family, though, now speaking out to the community on how their lives have changed after they say their 14-year-old son was body slammed to the ground by a school resource officer last year. They say their son now struggles with day-to-day -day activities after suffering from a skull fracture. While Bradley Lauer is no longer a school resource officer, the family wishes that the school would have done more instead of telling them their son had just slipped and fell. I feel I should have had a phone call telling me Paris is in the halls, he's refusing to go to class and come get him and give him a suspension or something. I do feel correction should have been done, but not to the extent that they carried it. Now the mayor tells us he supports the officers and long-standing relationship they have with the schools to provide a safe learning environment. Now we also asked the police department what the current role is right now uh, for Mr. Lauer. They have declined to comment. Now we have been looking into this. We know there are uh, many coming out and you know speaking out about this, including the school board as well. You know, kind of showing their sides. We've heard that the other night. I um, want to bring in Jim Haggerty this morning, our digital reporter, our investigative reporter. Tell me first, Jim, who is actually in this lawsuit? It's not just Mr. Lauer. No, there, there's three other defendants named here. There's uh, two assistant principals and a hall monitor, and they're okay. being accused of not doing enough to stop this, w w what is being um, alleged as excessive force. The lawsuit claims under the 4th and 14th Amendment that they had an obligation to stop what they believe is to be. Uh, yeah, and you just touch on it. This is a case where the lawyers are citing that 4th and 14th Amendment. What exactly are they, what are, what are the lawyers saying specifically? What, what is uh, being alleged under the 4th and 14th Amendment is that it was unreasonable to detain Paris, uh, uh, Paris Moore in the hallway, and it was certainly unreasonable, they're claiming, to use this body slam to take him uh, to the ground. Now, police are permitted to use such te uh, techniques as yeah. body slams and s certain wrestling type of holds. But what the attorneys are saying in this case is that uh, he did nothing to warrant the officer uh, to use that, use that hold. And as you mentioned, it's a civil rights a lawsuit this morning. Again, we are still waiting on District 205 to put out an official comment. We've not seen right. anything yet or a statement with that. But when it comes to the actual suit right now, um, what are you hearing from the family about who they're actually going after? It's not just the individuals. There's more to it. It's a city involved. It's a school district. Tell me about that. Well, um, th this is one of those cases where uh, the, the lawsuit is being brought against the police department and, and the city of Rockford and employees of the school district. And what's happening there is uh, the, who is being sued um, is these parties because the police and the city are, are one and the same. Same thing is going to go for the school district. You don't sue Auburn High School alone. You sue the school district as a whole. So the, the family uh, wants, um, they're calling for a lot of things in the press conference yesterday. They're even calling for criminal charges to, to be filed against this officer. We don't know anything about that yet, but they just want some sort of justice. They want to be made whole. And again, these are just allegations that, uh, that this officer was not justified in using this, uh, what is being categorized as a body slam. Absolutely. And there's so much, so many levels here at play, so many people being, uh, being accused of stuff, especially within this lawsuit. Have any of the defendants come forward uh, and responded to this? No, and we shouldn't expect to. Um, there's going to be a lot of silence in this case because of student privacy laws. The district isn't going to release any personal information about this student. The, 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 the plaintiff may choose to release those details, sure. but don't expect them to come from the city or co to come from the, the school district. Now, Mayor McNamara has come out and said that he believes that the tactics that this lawyer has used uh, were just an effort to cause some public outrage, the timing of everything. But other than that, they're not saying anything. All right, Jim, we appreciate it. We know uh, this is a story you will continue to follow. We will do the same too as we wait um, this morning for a response from the district and just kind of see what's ahead here. Jim, thank you. Well,